So in this video we're gonna take a look at the best cheap beasts in FC Mobile, pretty much the best players at every position under 10 million coins. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. If you don't have that much coins and if you want to build a very very good cheap team with every single player being under 10 million coins or if you want a couple of these players for a couple of these positions you can go ahead and get these players. Let's go ahead and start off with the goalkeeper of course and in goal we can see we've got quite a few um, decent goalkeepers under 10 million coins. Blake is definitely not bad, Donnarumma is obviously not bad either we've got someone like 90 overall Mardashvili who is very very good good and very very overpowered I like Courtois of course even if it is a base Courtois and Casillas is not bad even though he's quite short and Muslera actually this Muslera card I've tried and he's very very good but I think the best one under 10 million coins has got to be this Unai Simon card with 96 diving 96 positioning 91 handling 97 reflexes 89 kicking and 77 physicality he's just a very very good card in game in my opinion and he kind of looks like Messi uh, on that picture right there anyways let's go on and get into the right back position now at right back I mean for a long time we had this 92 overall team of the year nominee uh, Jeremy Frimpong of course he's still good he's got great dribbling and pace his defending and physicality is a bit low though um, so for that reason I think both of these cards Hariel and Acapo both of them are quite good as well Frimpong is still good if you want to get a very very good dribbler as a right back you can go for Frimpong but if you want to get a bit better defending and physicality then you can go for Hariel or uh, Acapo they are they are quite same Hariel is, has got a little bit more pace I would say this card is a little bit better then a couple right there they're about the same height as well with both of them being um with both of them having a three star weak foot sorry but yeah both of them are quite good there is also this new Teze card that is not bad it's got better defending even but i think those two are probably the best child for me now for the left back position for a long time um uh for for cheap beast players i was uh, i was suggesting this hernandez card right there 91 overall team they are uh, nominee hernandez still one of the best lot backs you can get under 10 million coins still one of the best cheap beast left back left backs right there but we also got this Anthony Robinson, who I like quite a lot with 100 pace, 90 defending, 82 defending, and uh, he's got 80 for physicality as well. But we've now got a brand new Team the Yard nominee, no, or Team the Yard honorable mention, um, or Team the Yard moments, whatever whatever you want to call it. Alfonso Davis right there with 101 pace, 85 passing, 95 dribbling, 87 defending, and 84 physicality. And I like this card quite a bit, so I think um, I would probably go with him as the best lot back under 10 million coins he's also got four star weak foot and he's 185 centimeters tall as well which is quite decent now into the central back position at central back we've got a very very fast central back that you can go for under 10 million coins there are a lot of them you can go for there is uh, there are obviously these cards right there they're quite slow though all of them um him dante dante yep 77 pace and he's quite slow as well defending and physicality is obviously great for all of these cards kim minji i like it this kim minji card even though it's quite an old card with him they are nominee still one of the best ones you can get new konati card is very very good as well if you all probably got him for free as well so you can go out and use him close man i like this uh, this close man card quite a lot as well as king is not bad uh so close man konate i would say are probably the two of the best so far but this saint juice card simakan even simakan is not bad but this Saint Juice card, even though he doesn't have that great of defending and physicality, it's still decent. But he's also got 97 pace and he's quite tall with 186 centimeters tall. So, because of that reason, I think he's one of the better ones you can go for under 10 million coins. 97 pace for a central back that's just a lot, isn't it? That's just a lot. We've also got, um, obviously 91 overall Risi, 91 overall Saliba who has been good for a very, very long time with him having team their nominee card. And there is a long card as well, who is good as well with 88 pace, 90 defending and 98 physicality. So Saliba is still one of the best ones, saying just, just because of his pace. And then we got Konate and Klosterman, who I like quite a lot as well, with a couple of other ones, with obviously Akim Inge and King being uh, very, very good ones as well. For that CDM position then, I mean, there is a very, very obvious choice for CDM. We've got this Trent Alexander-Arnold card. We've got an Indrik card. That's not bad, actually, but it's a bit too slow, in my opinion. We've got Casemiro. That's not bad. Matheus, even though that's quite an old card, Matheus still performs quite well in game. We've got this um, Petit, but I think this and Nwobodo, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name exactly, but this card is very, very good, in my opinion, with 95 pace. 
uh, 87 dribbling, 92 defending, and 88 physicality. Again, for a CDM to be that fast, um, at only 93 overall, that's that's very, very nice indeed. For that card, I've actually used him in my cheap beast team uh, video uh, a couple of months ago, maybe. And he was so, so good. He was definitely the best player in my squad during that time. So, yeah, he's a very, very good card. There's also this Chara card that's that's quite quite decent with 4-star recruit as well. But, yeah, I think Nwobodo is probably the best one you can go for at CDM. Then, for that seat in the central mid position, I mean, there is definitely one uh, that, that stand, uh, stands out for me um, a, a lot. This is the Cahill card right there. Very, very well-rounded, four-star recruit, um, and, yeah, very, very good card in general, this hero card. There is also this card right there, who's got very, very bad physicality. Uh, but, yeah, Douglas Lewis and Fred, both of them are quite decent as well. Douglas Lewis, very well-rounded card. But um, he lacks he lacks a little bit of pace, shooting, and physicality there. Uh, Fred Fred has got a bit more uh, a bit more well-rounded card with having a bit better pace, but shooting and physicality is a little bit low as well as he's quite short as well. Joel Linkton is actually a decent card as well, very very well-rounded card for Joel Linkton. And there are some other ones. Shobos like uh, more of like his uh, attacking type of central mid. Wouldn't really use him right now. Um, and if you go down there, I mean, there is still a Valverde card that I like quite a lot. A 91 overall one, right? He's got a 90 or 90 overall. This 90 overall Valverde is still quite decent if you want to go on and use him. But I think Cahill is probably the best shout you can go for. Then for the central attacking midfield position, I'm actually going to go with a new card that we've got, which is a 93 overall Royce card. There is Okocha, not bad, but not great really. Foden is not bad. The team of the week one, Mostova and Nakata are there, as well as Shakiri, Rosicki. Some all right ones, this team of the year nominee verse is quite slow as well. Uh, but yeah, Royce, I think this new Royce card is the best one you can go for under 10 million coins with 91 pace, 91 shooting, 95 passing, and 95 dribbling right there. If you now go into that right midfield position, uh, there, there is that 93 overall Freddy Lundberg, of course, who's got 96 pace, 86 shooting, 88 passing, and 94 dribbling. Very, very good card for Star Recruit as well. But also, there is this 92 overall Espinosa card who's got five star Recruit and he's got 100 pace, 8 shooting. Shoot I think uh, Freddy Lundberg has definitely got better, better shooting. So if you want to get uh, a player right midfielder with uh, with a very, very good shooting, you can go for Lundberg. But I like Espinoza's weak foot. He's got five-star weak foot. He's also very, very fast with 100 pace. And yeah, I think this is card in general is a little bit better. Kudos and uh, these Doku cards are quite similar. Both of them are quite, uh, quite fast, but they've got three-star weak foot. And I don't really like the restart record too much, to be fair, especially because, um, especially for Doku, uh, because his strong foot is right foot as a right midfielder. It's it's just it just doesn't really work that well. For the left mid position, then uh, there is um, 92 overall Coleman, same link with Doku, um, and uh, the other one Kudos. Three star record is not my my is is not for me definitely, but he's definitely got a good good card card as well. Uh, we've got Saint Maximin, Beastly, and also this ninety one overall Adeyami. All three of them are quite decent. All of them have got four star record. I'm pretty sure. Demarcus Beastly, Saint Maximin, and um Adeyami, and they are they are quite fast as well. I think this ninety one overall Adeyami card actually is the best one you can go for out of all of them. But if you want a better rating as well, you can go for the Marcus Beastly uh, with this card right there. I think Adeyami performs the best in game though. We also got this card, which is decent as well, but three star record isn't good enough in my opinion. Now, um, into the right wing position then. At right wing, if you go ahead and come down to see a couple of these cards, I mean, not many great choices at right wing to be fair. Not many great choices. We've got this pain still. Again, three star record, right footed player. Um, if you want to go with him, you can. But there are not many other choices. I think he, he, this card has to be the best because, as I said, not many great choices. Salah, team of the, the team of the week card, not really great either. Yep, as I said, not many great choices. So I think this uh, Joseph Payne still has got to take that place as the best one. I would go with Dembele if he was under 10 mil, but unfortunately he's not under 10 mil now for the left wing position. Again, for the left wing position. Um, there are not many new great cards. Werner, I like Werner quite a lot. He's got a decent card right there. 102 pace, 90 shooting. There is also Cable. There's also Doku. 
quite like this card as well, but the uh, but the problem is that he's got three star recruit again. You, you can still use him because he's right footed. He's still gonna be good in game, but yeah, I, I don't like him being right footed. Quaratzelia is still a good choice as well, and if you go down there, Zaha um, again three star recruit, but not a bad choice either. Probably will go, will go with Quaratzelia if you want five star recruit, and if you want a fast player with good shooting uh, that is right footed and that has got Risa Rikud you can go for Jeremy Doku right there as well and now for that striker position interestingly enough there are not that many great strikers under 10 million coins we have to go for one of the 93 overall cards uh, because they're, those ones are the ones that are under 10 million coins and I think Muriel still tops the list as the best one under 10 million coins as I said not many great choices but he's got 99 pace 91 shooting 95 dribbling with four star recruit as well but let me know down in the comment section if I missed any of the players um, that are very very good as well